Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna unbox and review this Super Loon floor lamp. So this is a modern floor lamp, circular shape, so basically like a halo. I'm very curious, it is a metal design and it sits on a tripod. Kind of reminds me a little bit like it's like a telescope, but also because of the circular shape, it also kind of reminds me of the sun. Few moments later. So we got the legs here. One of them has the power going through it. We have a foot switch, and this is going to connect to the adapter, the power adapter. We have the remote control, takes two AAA batteries, different buttons on off and stuff. So I'll play with the different modes. We have the power adapter, it is 100 to 240 volts, and 12 volts, three amps is the output. An Allen wrench with two screws, and we have the huge lamp. Alright, this looks pretty cool. We have the power connector here to one of the legs. That's the back, so it's screwed in in case you guys are wondering. Yeah, and then tilts and everything, so let's get it set up and go from there. The setup looks pretty self-explanatory. You have three parts which are going to make up your legs, and one of them has the power coming out. So that's the important one. The other two legs are, I mean, everything is pretty much the same style, except this one, the power goes through it. So let's go over one of the legs. So you get two different types of rods, one with this part coming out, the threaded part, and an end, which is going to be your bottom. And then the other side has essentially uh, two female ends and you just screw them in together. And since this one does not have the power coming in, I would basically just connect it to one of these and that would make one of my legs. So you don't need any tools or anything. It looks like it's just hand tight and you're good to go. Okay, so I got one of the legs in. The other leg is following the same exact process. Now, the power one, we have the rod where the power comes out, and this is the bottom. So really, what you need to do is get one of the rods that has two female ends and just run the cable through it. So once it goes all the way through, just get it here and just start tightening it. Hand tight should be good to go. So then you get this part and this is the power part. So all you basically need to do is take the power part and just clip it in until you hear a snap, which just happened. And then that's it, push it in, screw this in and you're good to go. So now we got the power in and we'll just do the third leg again, same exact thing, female, female, male and the bottom, screw this in. So I set up the light, super simple, looks very nice, it's all metal and everything. The lamp, the LEDs themselves, they look amazing. You really can't tell where the little LEDs are, it's diffused very, very well. So it looks like a very high quality light, but if you're looking at something that, oh, I want to brighten up the whole room, this is not really the lamp for that. This is more of a artistic light that just looks very nice to look at and it gives off decent directional light. So let me show you guys the different options. So I have the remote right here in my hand and we're going to start. We'll, we'll do an off and an on. This is maximum brightness and I'm going to start dimming it. So this is the dimmest setting, almost like a night light in a way. And we can change the colors. So this is the coolest light and then we could go warmer and warmer and warmer and 
this is basically the warmest light. So you guys could see there's a huge variation in color temperature. And then you have the various buttons where they're kind of like shortcuts, these ones on the bottom. They're kind of like shortcuts where this is kind of the nightlight mode. And then you could, you know, you click it, it oscillates between the different colors of nightlight. And then you can have, you know, different stronger lights kind of thing and different colors. And that's pretty much it in terms of the variations of colors. And again, you could play with that. It does have several different options and the remote is fairly responsive. And again, I'm clicking it from here so you guys could see that it works fine in terms of range. Now, if you guys are wondering, is there a locking system for this that keeps it in place? The answer is no, it pretty much kind of uses gravity. So if I move it like that, I just hold it. I mean, let go and it just holds its place. If I do that, it'll just hold its place. So same thing here, just holds its place, bring it there, it'll hold its place. So it's kind of a, yeah, it's pretty much using gravity. It looks amazing. You Again, you really can't tell where the LEDs are and that's what, it almost kind of looks like the sun if you put it at the warmer temperatures. So just overall looks pretty, very nice. And I could see this, this is more of a decoration light more than anything else. That's how I see this. And yeah, it just looks amazing. I can even use this potentially as one of the lights for when I'm filming normally. Granted, I already have enough lights there that's designed for that, but this is more of an artistic piece and it's functional. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and as always smash that subscribe button. Again, I am trying to reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So it's free to subscribe. It's easy to do. Just click that shiny red button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.